All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another edition of RNA Outdoors. And today we are starting a vlog series on the outdoors. Today I will be in um, going in, just going over and uh, showing my setup to uh, fix my snowmobiles. So I go with my little, uh, hold on, I should probably go outside. Hold on, okay. So right now I have this like tarp thing set up with uh, ribs. We use it in the summertime for a greenhouse. And when we go in here, uh, I got my beautiful babies. Of course, I got to get me my uh, cheetah. This you guys haven't seen yet. This is my uh, my wildcat that I had told you about in another video. So, um, yeah, I want to probably just going to show it to you briefly. I uh, don't want to spoil too much, but this video is going to have no cuts, no edits. It's going to be raw, so you see what I do. Uh, well... Got the 650, the Arctic Cat, Wildcat. This puppy, well, uh, she definitely uh, is getting pieced back together. Uh, I had taken it all apart to fix it. Uh, it wasn't sparking, and it wasn't um, it wasn't running very well. So what I did was um, there's a four-way connector. Hold on, maybe I can show you. There's like a, there's a four-way connector, um, right, right there. I hope you can see that. That four-way connector where my finger is, it uh, it houses your uh, all your ignition, all your ignition uh, wires to uh, control spark, going to your uh, CDI, your uh, key switch, and all that, your kill switch. What it is, I bypass that. Um, I bypassed it to where I can, um, override the system and get spark through it. And, uh, I rewired the kill switch to my own wires. She called one. And, um, right now, I have it running, but, um, the carburetors are all messed up. Right here, I got the, uh, throttle slide. Right here. Where the needle will go. The needle will come out of that hole. That center hole right there. But um, it's out right now. Only because. Um, the needles have like adjustment points on them. So you can adjust it. To where uh, you can limit the amount of fuel that's going in. And right now there's too much fuel going into the carbs. And she's not running uh, perfect. I'll go and go to give it some gas and um right about there she revs up anything past anything past like that starts to bog down full totally bogs down shuts off put your hand over the car there's so much gas going into it so what i gotta do is um i took the needles out of both carburetors took the needles out of them to uh adjust that little like pin inside the the needle to adjust the circlip on them, but um, uh, I ended up stripping them out. So what I gotta do is um, what I what I actually have to do is uh, order new ones. So I ordered a new needle because one of them was good. I have I got one from this parts carb, the one that was seized on it, and. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure where the needle to this one went. Um, but, yeah. Um, just my setup in here is I got big the big construction lights, and then I power them up. They have, like, really bright bulbs that heat everything up. And um, it heats this place up, and then I got my tools... My um my exhaust pipe for the cheetah, it's laying right there because I gotta I gotta fix the flange on it. It needs exhaust springs. It needs six of them, and uh, so I gotta get those 
get it. I gotta buy those. I'm gonna buy them from Ames Arctic Cat in Auburn. So uh, you know, support your local businesses. Go support them. Um, they're like five bucks a piece, so I pay thirty bucks for them. What the heck? This, um, it it runs. It runs. You know, pretty good. Not gonna complain, but. It needs, um, yeah, it needs those, of course I said the, uh, the pins need to be, well, the needles. The needle jet in the jet needle, it's confusing, but it needs to be adjusted up so it sits lower into the carburetor so when you go to give it gas, it goes up, but it's lower. If you get what I'm saying, what happens is is it gets it goes into that hole that center hole and there's like a little circlip like a little like a little circlip that goes onto it it's like a nail you know how nails are tapered this needle is the same thing and it goes down inside of a little column and the higher you bring the column inside the carburetor the more fuel goes through that taper and um it was set at such a high taper that it would let too much gas go in to the car when you went to go give it some gas and there was enough air to fix it or to compensate for that. This thing gets too much snow and it'll collapse, but um like I was saying, once I adjust that, I can, uh, it'll be able to rev up. The clutch engages on these Wildcats, the clutch engages at 3,500 RPM. So you guys that have the Arctic Cat, uh, the, the Wildcats, you should know, 3,500 RPM. The clutch engages, for me, it's not, it's not revving up that high to engage the clutch. It's only revving up to about uh 2k which is not enough that's 1500 off from what it takes to rev it up to engage the clutch and then what i'll do is um i'll adjust it i'll get it out in the yard run it around and fine tune the carbs to where you actually put load on it it'll get up to speed and um that's where i'm at right now and before I had even gotten it running, I had started taking the, the picks out of the track. Um, hope you can see the holes. They're like right here. And there's still, of course, you know, some picks to deal with and stuff. But um, as far as that goes, I have 24 out and like 80 more to go. So, yeah, that'll be fun. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to loosen the limiter strap because what the limiter strap does inside the suspension is determine how much pressure is on the skis so it doesn't like lift up when you go to give it gas so ups truck i ordered from amazon so i don't know if it's up if that's them hope it is because if i get those needles and stuff i'll make another video of this thing running today probably isn't though so if it if i don't show you forget i ever said that um so I'll get that running, and then I'll show you that. And then I want to show you the seat. So the seat, what happened to the seat was, um, the seat is real bad. I mean, just listen. That's outdoor vinyl. Outdoor vinyl is not supposed to sound like that. And uh, if you notice anything, like right there, there should be a bolt, another one right there and right there. There isn't a bolt, so I gotta put bolts in the seat there and then um, recover the seat, so I'll show you that. But, yeah, UPS truck's driving away. Wasn't for us. So, uh, yeah, that will uh, conclude today's outdoor vlog. Like I said, no cuts, no edits, so please like, share, and subscribe for more. Peace out.